G'day everyone and welcome back to Tom's Rock Farm. Today I am going to try and get that roller going because I need to start rolling the road that Henry's graded. Uh, but two things before we do that. So after all that wood that we, uh, we cut down from the house site, uh, we got that all back to the shed here. Um, so it was two trailer loads, uh, but we need to split it. So on the weekend, I bought a splitter. So uh, at some point, we're gonna get to and uh, start splitting some wood. So uh, there you go, that's what it is. Tested it out. Uh, we were a little bit worried that 25 ton might be a, a little bit too small, but um, no, nah, works well. I got one of the biggest logs, chucked it on there, and uh, did it, no worries. So yeah, we've uh, got a, a wood splitter now. Right, we've got a giveaway hats. Uh, I'd just like to say to everybody who has uh, participated, thank you so much for participating. Uh, it's fantastic to see the support from you guys jumping over on Instagram and uh, uh, following both me in the glass cage and then posting your photos. It has been absolutely awesome to see uh, the photos you guys have been posting. It's just absolutely great to look at. Now I wish I could give each and every one of you guys a hat. Uh, I can't, that's the whole point of a competition. I can only do five, uh, so I'm sorry, but uh, I'm only gonna be giving five hats away. Um, and then last week, actually, my stubby holders rocked up. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to give away uh, five hats to the five best photos that, uh, that I thought, and then uh, I'm gonna give away four stubby holders to, um, yeah, some uh, ones that were very close to getting a hat, but, you know, didn't. Uh, now, uh, the, the hats aren't for sale. I have had a few comments, well, messages, people asking if they could buy one. Uh, they're not for sale as of yet. Uh, we might sort something out a bit later on um, purchasing things. But uh, for now, uh, it's just purely uh, competitions and giveaways. Uh, and on that, the people who are commenting on YouTube and saying that they're not on Instagram or um, yeah, the other things they were commenting, uh, there's only, there's 50 hats, remember, so there's, there's only five hats going away, um, so there will be more chances to win a hat uh, in the future. And I say to those people, if you can comment uh, maybe an idea of how to win a hat on YouTube, uh, you know, a competition I can run there, or a giveaway, I'm not really too sure on uh, how we do that on, uh, on YouTube, but I'm sure, sure you guys will figure it out and let me know some ideas. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's jump right on in to the uh, to the people who've got a hat. Now the first hat goes to Brockerland. Uh, now he was the first person to actually uh, tag both of us in a uh, in a post. So of course you're going to get one. The first one will get one, and uh, it's an epic photo as well. You've got the cat there with a the disc behind, so I love that. Uh, now the next photo is Beckstone ninety and uh, she's got a photo of her husband with their son walking out to the paddock. Um, yeah, that one's uh, that's a pretty cool photo, pretty cute. And uh, yeah, I love the comment below that as well. So well done, you got yourself a hat. Uh, now the next one, now I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Ago Stinelli 92 you're from, uh, from Queensland, and I love this one because it's uh, passion fruit. So um, yeah, they've just, by the sounds of it, they've just finished their, um, their passion fruit harvest, and uh, yeah, I reckon that's epic. You know, uh, I don't deal in anything like that, so to see stuff like that's, you know, really cool. Uh, and then we've got uh, Karee 19, and uh, that is one bogged rogator. Now, I've bogged my rogator before, back when we had rogators, but uh, nothing, nothing like that. That is a uh, epic job. I reckon that was a few days to get that thing unbogged, so. Well done, mate. Uh, and then the last hat is all the way to South Africa. Um, hang on, I, I don't actually, ah, oh, there we go. Butler Droppers, uh, if I've got that right. Um, uh, so he said the only thing about him at the moment is the Aussie Redback Boots. So uh, you'll be getting yourself a hat, mate. So uh, well done. And I love the uh, the photo with the your, your, um, your son on there, that's awesome. Right, now to our, uh, our guys that are gonna get some stubby holders. Um, I hope you're not too disappointed that you're not getting a hat, but at least you've got a stubby holder. So the next one is uh, Fred Bur uh, Burdon, 
and uh, I love that. It's the old school photo with the uh, yeah all the old gear. So that's yeah that's epic. I love that. Uh, and then the next one is uh, John Man Free Demand. <laughs> I'm sorry for stuffing all these uh, yeah Instagram handles up, <laughs> but uh, yeah you know spending time with his young young boy there, and he's got him sitting on top of the truck. So that's an absolutely epic photo. I love that. Um, and the two more, so the next one is Belly2208 and uh, he's, uh, his comment was that, you know, that was his glass cage uh, the other day, so absolutely epic photo and you guys are uh, definitely in the heat of the season at the moment. And then our final one, our uh, I love the pick collage from uh, Ups and Downs42, so uh, well done mate, uh, I'm sorry it's not a hat, but you got a stubby holder, so I hope that's alright. Uh, so thank you to each and every one of you. The support uh, has been amazing to see. It's just um, yeah, been awesome to uh, you know open Instagram and see all those photos. Now I've tried to make sure I've liked all the photos that you guys have been tagging me in. If I've if I've missed one, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go through my phone now and just make sure I've uh, liked everyone that's uh, sent through a um, you know tagged a, tagged a photo. Uh, so yeah, I better get to work now. Uh, Henry's actually. He has had to go to town for, this, uh, for the morning. So I'm gonna get to and get this roller sorted, hopefully, that's my plan. And uh, I'll show you when we get down there why I need the roller so bad. Basically where I got bogged is, um, yeah, it's too soft. And Henry's with the grader is just bogging down. And uh, yeah, we just, we need to compact it and bring more gravel in, compact it, more gravel basically. So that's the plan. All right, I think I've got what I need. I got the diesel, because obviously the diesel tank doesn't hold fuel. Got a battery in case the battery down there is knackered. Got some hydraulic oil, because uh, last time when we first tried to use it, the hydraulic oil was low. Got my water bottle. I think that's about it. Uh, we'll see how we go starting it. Uh, last time we had to start this from when it hadn't been started for a while. We need a lot of aero start, or start you bastard. And it's only me, so uh, we'll see what we can get done. Okay, so we're here. Um, now I did forget one thing, we're gonna have to go back. Now there is uh, a few bees flying around, but I don't think they're gonna be an issue. Um, the fact that I'm able to get right close to them right now, um, I think these might be the nice bees. And there's only, I'd say half a dozen flying around, so that means that there shouldn't be a whole hive or a queen here, so we should be all right. They should just be scouting. Uh, now, what did I forget? I forgot the air compressor. I was going to bring the air compressor down to uh, pump these tyres up because uh, they haven't been pumped up in probably about 10 years. And uh, if you look at the back here, we are, uh, we are pretty flat sort of on our edge there. So we're just going to go back to the shed. We'll grab... Uh, Grab the air compressor because there's no point getting it started and then, um, yeah, having to wait to pump tyres up. We'll uh, start pumping tyres up and then try and get it started after that. So let's do that. All right, service trailer's hooked on. I need to swing around and get some fuel. I've got a couple guns in there. But what I want is a... Uh, Fitting that locks on. That one. But we are ready to roll. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's see. So that's at 36. I reckon you can run these things up around 80. Probably even 100, because it's a road roller. And, uh, you know, truck tires you run up around there. So, uh, we're going to be here for quite a while just pumping tires up, I reckon. Um, let's see if I can get into where this one is. Uh, uh, I don't know if I... Stand by, I think these are different fittings to what I have. <sighs> yep. So the outside ones are like a standard car tire, even a standard truck tire. 
Now these inside ones are uh, like double. They're, uh, they're really big fitting. I know that doesn't show up on the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna pump that up. Uh, yes. At some point today, I'm gonna get to, uh, to work here yeah, on this. But those back tires, I really do need to inflate. They are quite flat. So there's the two outsides. They are a normal standard like car fitting. The three front tires are the exact same standard car fitting. And then these two ones on the inside are this giant one. So I've just given Will a call and he reckons he's got a, uh, he might have an attachment. So I'm just gonna duck over there and see. And then eventually we will get to uh, trying to start this bloody thing. We have success. We have got a uh, adapter. So I think I'm gonna probably need to buy one of those so that we've, we've got one. Not that we have anything that needs it except for this uh, roller, but I mean, it's not ours. It's a uh, farmer from around here. So uh, yeah, at least I will be able to pump these tires up now. Um, I'm gonna, I'm a bit concerned about how long all this is gonna take to pump up, but uh, yeah, hopefully by then I'll have it running. So uh, let's get down there. I don't know if this is going to work. Alright, well, we're not getting any air coming back out of that. Uh, I'm going to hope that when I uh, apply, well, when I have the air, air compressor running and uh, going through that, that that's going to push some air into it. We shall find out. All right, I've got it on there. I think it sounds like it's pumping up. I guess I'll find out in a little bit, don't wanna. I'm not having much or any luck with the center. Essentially the, uh, the fitting I've got, the, uh, um, the valve, whatever you wanna call it, the stem inside, doesn't seem to be long enough to uh, touch the, uh, the the actual one of the tire, so I'm having a bit of issue there. Um, not too sure what I'll do to figure that out, but so while I wait to uh, do that, I figured I'd pump the outside one up and see, make sure that it's uh, pumping air up. And uh, it is. You can see down here the sand. See how it's moved away. So uh, this one's at least pumping up. So what I'll do is I'll go around. I'll pump all of them up. And then I'll come back to here and figure out what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do on these ones. Jeez, that took no time at all. That's uh, already at 82 and a half, so I'll keep going. I'll go to. I think this thing maxes out at 100, and honestly, I don't think that air compressor will go past 100 psi. I'm obviously talking. Uh, so, well, probably go to there. Yep, I've uh, come up with error on my uh, screen there, so I know that this one here is at 100. Well, probably over it. So we'll uh, we'll leave this one. We'll go on to the. We've got four, four more to do, and then we'll figure out what we do with the uh, the back ones. Okay, I've got those. Uh, all the other tires are pumped up to 100 psi. Uh, so they're all, all ready to roll. I've just got the back two to sort out. I'm going to try and clean up the thread a bit on the on the, uh, on the the stems. I'm hoping that maybe there's some gunk on there and that I'm just not able to screw the fitting the whole way on. Uh, and hopefully that way I can pump it up. Because uh, I'd really like to get those back two tyres pumped up. Uh, but yeah, anyway, at the moment the... Uh, it's, it's getting warm. It's nearly about 27 degrees. Uh, it's meant to be 32 today. It's 36 tomorrow. 31 on uh, Friday. So it's not ideal. Um, you can see that the uh, barley behind me is uh, it's turning very quickly. Uh, but uh, two things about me. When uh, when it gets hot and sunny, because the UV's at six at the moment, so that's you know that's high. Um, it's going to get to probably 12 or 13 today. But um, so two things. I burn really easily in the in the sun, 
and uh, I also sweat a lot when it gets hot. So if you notice uh, that my shirt's changed colour, don't be alarmed, it's just me dying in the heat. So I'm about to put some sunscreen on and uh, I'm also getting uh, rid of the coveted Tom's Brook hat and uh, chucking on my, uh, my broad brim, which actually arrived in the, uh, the post yesterday, which I'm, uh, I'm very glad about because today is the, uh, the ideal day for needing it. So I'm gonna do this, sunscreen that is, and then we'll get to uh, trying to get those wheels pumped up. Okay, so I've got that one working, this tyre. We can hear, I've turned that off so I can hear there's actual air coming into that now. We'll see how it goes. Both of these tyres are actually dead flat. You know, when I push on the stem, they, um, they don't pop any air out. So, uh, yeah, look, we'll see if it pumps up. I hope it does. Not sure what we're going to do with this one. The, uh, the actual thread is buggered, so... I don't want to exactly screw that fitting on or cross it and bugger it for Will because that's Will's, Will's thing. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we do. Right, we are making progress. The, uh, the dirt is coming away from the uh, tyre. So it means it's pumping up. I've tried to uh, use my little, my, my gauge, but I just, it's not getting onto it properly. Uh, that doesn't matter. So uh, anyway, while that's been going on, I've got the diesel ready to go. I'm not going to fill that yet because the diesel tank leaks and leaks down onto the tyres. I don't want to be dealing with that while I'm down there. I've checked the battery up here. Battery is actually good. I thought it would be flat, but it's all good. Uh, oil is perfect. Water is perfect. Hydraulic oil is perfect. So as soon as I've done these tyres, I'll fill it with some fuel. And then hopefully I might be able to get away with just starting it. Um, and hopefully the fuel rail up top is still all good and I don't need to prime anything. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll find that out together, won't we? So I filled it up, I didn't get stung, so that was nice. There is about 100 or so bees flying around now, and uh, they are coming from in there. There's uh, it's clearly still a hive in there, but um, at least I haven't been stung yet, so, uh, so that's a positive. So uh, yeah, anyway, we'll um, see if this starts. I'm really hoping that the fuel line is still full from uh, yeah, last time I used it and yeah, I don't need to get out and prime and do anything like that. But you can see the bees, it doesn't matter how much encouragement stuff you put around. Yeah, these, the, this was the guys that stopped me from using this last week. Uh, there's a hive, old small hive there. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, right, now let's see if we can uh, get this thing going. So I believe we're in neutral, I think. I think this is neutral, I think. Uh, that's our brake, obviously. Lights are working. Right. <laughs> Would you look at that? How long has this thing been sitting for? Four months, maybe? And uh, just, as long as you got everything sorted, it's all right, so, okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that air compressor off. It's been running for about 20 minutes now on that one tyre and it's not getting any more inflation into it. Uh, I think there must be a hole in there or something or something's not working. I have turned the motor off and checked to make sure that the air is still going in. It is. I can't hear air coming out but it must be in somewhere because it's just not going up. So at least all the other tyres are good and those ones will just have to do. So, uh, Let's get rolling. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can release our brakes. I don't think they were on anyway. Let's try 
first. And we're away. The rolling beehive moves. Steering's working, that's good. I do want to go faster though. Let's see if we can uh, get faster. Come on, third. Uh, this is going to take me a while to get down there, but uh, at least we're rolling. Uh, yeah. Well, I got it figured. The, uh, the brakes needed a bit more air for me to release them. So the brakes do work, they just don't work very well. Uh, and I did manage to get to third, so I'm now smoking along at light speed pace. So, uh, doing a good job rolling the road anyway. So, uh, yeah, get down here and I'll show you what uh, issues we're going to face with this. Hopefully we don't get bogged. Okay, so we're, we're down here. It's going to be interesting getting in. But we'll give it a go. We've got sand. can do it, little roller. Ah, uh, nope, nope, you can't. All right, we want to go for probably first. Okay, so uh, obstacle one we just gone through. Uh, yeah. So uh, up here, where uh, where Henry's graded, so he hasn't finished grading as you can tell. We've still got mounds everywhere, but uh, this he's starting to blow through uh, right about here. So we're just going to roll this road a couple times, make sure that this is all uh, all good, and then um, what uh, he's on his way back from town now. So we'll be able to. Um, it and I should be able to go and get some more gravel and bring it here so then we've got yeah a nice uh, solid road you can also see the rocks that Henry's been dealing with oh no are we sinking? That sounds... Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. That felt like we sunk. I reckon if we get down and have a look, we are sunken on the front. Right, let's try and reverse out of this. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. And I can guarantee you, this is the exact same spot that I got the truck bogged. Okay. Gear one. Reverse. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's just roll this road back this way. Yep, we made a mess. At least we didn't get bogged though. Time to go forward and we'll see if we can just go around it and keep rolling the road and uh, yeah we'll fix that in a bit.
worked so well so far, apart from uh, <laughs> the one spot that actually needs the rolling, I can't actually roll because uh, it sinks in. So it sank in here, uh, that was the first one. And then as I was coming around, um, coming around it, I sank in a bit as, again. And then, uh, yeah, so I sank, I sank in up there and then I reversed up, that's what this is here. And then I tried to get as close as I could uh, to this. And you can see I started to sink in again. So I just straight away pulled out out there. So I wouldn't get bogged. So what I'm going to do is turn that off. I'm going to jump in a grove. I'm going to just track roll this with grove and uh, see if I can uh, make it, you know, compact it a little bit to then bring that over the top. So Grover weighs, I think it's about 17 ton. So I'm hoping that uh, even if I just I start sinking in, we're going to compact this base a bit better. And uh, even if I have to bring another load of gravel in before we roll it, uh, yeah, it's just going to be better. So backwards and forwards with uh, the grader for five, ten minutes, and then uh, I'll see if it's good enough for me to use the roller again. But uh, yeah, I'm sinking in right now as we're going through it, but. Hopefully we can get it sorted because this is going to be the weak spot of the road. Um, we're not also going to have this roller, uh, the land roller, not the land roller, the road roller here for uh, forever. You know, it's not ours. Um, so uh, yeah, it'd be good to try and get this as good as we can now, so that uh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't blow out. You now the ones that will give it a test come harvest are the chasers. Now um, because we're in. It'll be canola. There's not going to be a huge amount of um, of tonnage coming out of here compared to like the barley there. Uh, you know, the chase will be constantly driving over it. Whereas, uh, yeah, it'll be probably half as much as what we would with cereals. But uh, yeah. All right, that sort of worked. So um, I'm not confident enough to go with the roller over this. So you can see. Uh, it's still quite, um, st it's going to blow out, it's blowing blowing out with uh, Grover and every time I drive over, like you can see this high rise just here. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go get the truck, load of gravel, uh, reverse up to it and then try and dump the gravel and then Henry will just have to pull it into the hole and then uh, yeah, hopefully that will be enough gravel on top to start compacting. Then I can jump in that and then uh, compact it down. I think it's going to have to wait until next video for you guys to see uh, how we go repairing this hole. I've got a feeling this video is getting quite long. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again to, uh, to you guys. Uh, this channel wouldn't be where it is without uh, your support. Thank you to everyone who uh, went onto Instagram and submitted photos. Uh, I absolutely love seeing them all. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we will do more competitions, uh, more giveaways for you guys for a chance to win hats. Uh, so don't worry. And we've got the stubby holders as well now. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you can uh, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, share it to someone. That would be absolutely fantastic. It helps this channel grow. Uh, also, don't forget to go and check out the Glass Cage podcast and uh, have a listen to that. We're having a, uh, a month break now. Uh, so we can go and record a few episodes to then release them come harvest time. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one.